Hi, my name is Max Miebach and I'm currently going to Oak Bay High. For an English project, I'm going to record my voice and talk about the book Shakespeare that we recently read in class. I will focus on the last part of the book, where Macbeth gets dramatically killed by Duncan. Before I'm getting into the topic of ambition, I will talk about the history of William Shakespeare and provide some main points about Macbeth. Shakespeare's life. William Shakespeare got baptized in Stratford Upon Avenue on April the 26th in 1564. He was probably born on the April the 23rd in 1564. In the late 1582s, he married Anne Hathaway with 18 years old. She was 25. His only son Hamlet died in 1596 at the age of 11. His older daughter Susan later married a well-to-do Stratford doctor. His name was John Hall. For more than two decades, Shakespeare had multiple roles in the London theatre as an actor, play, playwright and in time a business partner in a major acting company. The Lord Chamberlain man, over the years he became steadily more famous in the London theatre world. His name, which was not even listed on the first quarters of his plays, became a regular feature, clearly a selling point. On later title pages, he died on April the 23rd in 1616. I chose the last scene of the book because Macbeth gets killed. He is not the rightful king, so his punishment is his own death that he deserves after he killed the rightful king. Before Macbeth gets killed, it seems that he is very afraid because he says, I have almost forgotten the taste of fear. Lady Macbeth's ambition drove him to be ambitious and become king. Without his wife, I think he wouldn't have the ambition to become the king. Macbeth and Macduff meet on the battlefield. Macbeth asks Macduff to turn back as he has already charged with too much of Macduff's blood. Macduff counts that he has no words, that his sword should be his, should be his voice. He then laughs at Macbeth's protective prophecy as he seems fated to kill Macbeth since he was not of woman born, but rather torn from his mother's womb. He does brighten up when detailing to Macbeth how they'll impale his head on a pole for being such an unfun tyrant. Macduff says no more and slays Macbeth. Macduff arrives with Macbeth's head and pronounces Malcolm the rightful king. He imagines that the good crown surrounding Malcolm shares his good thoughts. Macduff sums up his feelings with a short and sweet Hail King of Scotland to Malcolm. You can imagine that it's more than the paltry fawning of lesser man as Macduff cries it out while brandishing the gory head of the former king of Scotland. Macbeth dies at the end. Ambition is a human trait that can be either positive or negative. In the book, Macbeth gets too ambition and has to pay for that. He becomes the king with the help of his wife that is very ambitious too. He kills the rightful king and his punishment is his death. So you can say that Macbeth's ambition is a negative trait at this point.